train tra What the heck? What is it? Hello, everybody. Welcome to three scary horror games. I got a few games lined up here. They should be the spookiest I could find. The first one is Haunted Mine. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into this. He was hired to demolish a mine. Ooh, spooky. He ignored who and why. Oh no. He just jumped straight to when and what. He only cared for the money. Who, me? I, I would assume so. But he found trouble in the mine. We're the one literally going down to the mine. So I think they're talking about me. The mine was living and it eyed him. What exactly do you mean by that? Spooky. Radio. You made it all the way all the way down. Good. Right? You've got a bag full of C4. But you need to place them in specific locations. Use the device and follow the navigation arrow to find the right spots. Okay. We're going to blow up absolutely everything first c4 location great you've reached the right location plant the bomb and move on to the next site i will definitely be doing that i'm trying to get paid money money oh so i see so what's gonna happen is is we're gonna try and blow this place up but the place is gonna like grow uh to be living i guess and then we're gonna die by it i'm foreshadowing it right now Oh my goodness. Eyeballs! <laughs> There's just eyeballs everywhere. Okay, <laughs> well that was a big goofy. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna blow you up. Alright. You, you saw what? Eyes look at you? Are you sure you're not hallucinating? Nah, it's just the toxic gases of the earth. You know? That's what's going on. Just take a deep breath and keep moving. Well, if I take a deep breath, then the more the toxic hallucinogenic gases they're gonna go into my brain capacity but you you would definitely want to go this dude just this dude just teleported me are you serious there's a door like a modern door hi bud last one right what someone's staring at you how is that possible you must be seeing things Forget it. Keep going. Yeah, I think you should just stop telling the dude on the radio what you're seeing. Because he's not going to believe you. Like, it's common sense to not but. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're in a Roblox obby now. I have to dodge the rolling eyeballs. That is absolutely hilarious. We've made it to the end. What's on the other side? We're back here again. You know what? I got a good idea. Let's radio up that dude that's sending us in here and tell him about all the crazy stuff I'm seeing. Why don't we do that? Make him think that we're a total crazy person. I mean, I, I think that's a pretty good idea. Oh, that's everything. You've done it. All the charges are set. I'm activating the countdown. Make your way to the lift. Stay calm and think about the money. The money! I'm Mr. Krabs. Money, money. Uh. Why is there so many of them? I win. It was literally at zero seconds. I'm not even, I'm not even lying. Did we win? Um... Uh, he still wondered why the mine was cursed. Did I, did I even get out? Am I even safe enough? What did he witness down there? Eyeballs. A lot of eyeballs, for some reason. No one believed his horrifying story. Then don't tell it. I'm gonna keep it honest. You don't want to be, um, Crazy Man Joe. The pay was decent, but was it worth the nightmares? Absolutely. I mean, come on. All I had to do was walk back and forth, and boom, the eyes are gone. They're just eyes anyways. I mean, how is that really a nightmare? Okay, so our next spooky game is Horrible Dream. I think it's what it's called. It doesn't have a title. It doesn't have menu music. It doesn't have anything. 
It's just, just a play and an exit button. Okay. This is a pretty horrible dream so far. This was... Wait. Hold on, I was making a joke, but... Why do you have a couch? Pointed towards a cabinet. What? What a... What are we going to be watching on the cabinet? And then the TV is right next to it. Dude, replace the cabinet with the TV. Train tra- What? What? Okay. This just seems like a regular dream right here. Casually almost get ran over by a train. And then both doors fully collapse, I guess. And then we have to run across the train tracks. My ears okay hands grabbing us from the wall this is this looks like a pretty n nightmare thing I don't think this is a dream anymore I think it's a nightmare buddy is that a person is <laughs> where my headset go <laughs> oh my gosh is that a person <laughs> What is going on here? Are we back at the original room? And that is that lit up again? Wait, we're at the original room, but it's bigger than it was before. Okay, uh, there's two cabinets also. I just want to point that out. So just move the cabinet next to the other one. I'm now an if. Oh no, wait, not an official. A registered. Um. What is it called? Uh, what's the people who do home decorating? Architects? No. Also meant licensed. I am a licensed architect. Even though the architect's not the word. That's the only word I can think of. Is this the exit from the bad dream that I've been hopelessly searching for? It's green. And y'all know what green means, right? It means go. Oh yeah, I guess it's not as green as I thought. It's more of a, like a swamp. I keep wanting to say that this game is stupid, but then I have to remember it's supposed to be based like on an actual dream, so it's actually like a good game because it's supposed to be based on a dream. This is a very real like dream thing that would happen is that you just get trapped in a white room and then alarms blaring because that makes sense. What is this? Oh, we're in heaven, y'all. We're. Oh, oh no, it's just a very light. Oh. It was. get to finish i was gonna say it was all just a dream and then i just got our third and final one for today is lamp post but apparently the recording button and the start button for this game is both the same recent scp activity was discovered by the locals in the middle of a thornwood forest authorities contacted the scp foundation to deal with this uh, the aftermath a random lamp post scp dash xxxx is currently under supervision of team alpha they are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give further uh, answers to this unknown anomaly based on rumors the lamppost was it the lamppost uses energy around itself consuming anything that comes in contact with it a whole bunch of lore right there get map power on this game anyways i didn't know this was a um i didn't know this was an scp game oh geez our intel suggests that this is a keter class scp which means that it is difficult to contain we should be very careful while observing this object. I think we should be careful with every SCP. SCP, th this number right here, doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. We clearly see that we are surrounded by a forest, yet the objects in this area appear appeared from unknown locations. We must contain those objects. Here, this analog multimeter, it is used to measure electrical quantities like frequencies, signals, etc. Use it to find those o objects affected by the lamppost and collect them. I will be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us just in case anything happens and Dr. Thorne will be will provide us with medical help if we need any. Collect at least 5 samples report it to Dr. Cooper and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant, avoid interaction with the lamppost, and good luck. Okay. Uh, whatever your name was, I already forgot it. Okay. We have to... 
grab objects that look out of place, basically. Does that count? Does, does that... Does, okay, apparently it doesn't. Oh. Um. So it did count? What? What? Oh, okay. I have to wait for the thingy to go. And then I have to find the object and then click on it. I don't understand. Most of these look out of place. Why isn't it like... Like, this looks out of place. Oh, wait, never mind. It's a forest. Probably not, actually. That looks out of place. Okay, good. Um, what is that? What even... That's a fan. That's gotta be out of place. What? Why would a fan be thrown in the forest? Doesn't make any sense. Is that a bottle of alcohol? Yes, it was. Okay, that's all five. We gotta report back to Dr. Cooper. And here he is. Hello, good sir. You tell me what to do. Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us all as well. Although, do you wonder what those objects... Or do you wonder where those objects are coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? Yes, I... D There's a man behind you, Dr. Cooper. If you want to crank that neck... Uh, 360, you would be able to see him. No one is allowed in this area yet, and there are so many objects. Could it be that SCP moves through objects? Or those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension? Maybe from right there. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe from right there. Alright, how do I continue? Your analog multimeter is picking up a high frequency. Dang, oh no, the lamppost. Nah, the dude behind you! I'm not dead, but where am I? Find a way out. Oh, great. We're gonna... Are we gonna... Yep, we're gonna start picking up notes. Let's go. We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost uh, emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory that uh, it... Uh, that this vortex of photons create a dimensional bridge between our reality and so, uh, something else, a dark place, where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around it. After that, it starts emitting a strong light, and if anyone touches it, the lamppost, an object, or a person will disappear. Bones. Oh, hello, good sir. <laughs> I get scared by that, bro. Hey, guys, I found the lamppost. Um, what exactly is it doing there? I, I'm, I'm probably wrong about that, though. Another note, yippee! To any, obs uh, to any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye, it will vanish. But appear once more, we call it the photon shadow, which was created by this lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. What the heck? Hello, Dr. Hayden! How is it going? I just noticed his name is Hayden, which is a, a lot close to Hayden. Are you Hayden? Uh, oh, and there's his eyeball. Okay. Um, sir, would you like to stop banging your head on the wall, maybe? Whoa, sometimes the lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in a time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who return, but one thing is clear, that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name. It suffocates your flesh and feeds you with hope. When it is done, there's nothing left of you. So I wonder if Dr. Hayton, um, got corrupted by him, or what? Oh my goodness, dude, back up, bruh. Back up. Gotta be kidding me, bruh. This punk. Every single time I turn on one of the computers, look, I'm gonna walk backwards. Oh, uh, yeah, wasn't much of a jump scare anymore, huh? Go back to the lamppost. Oh, okay. Lamppost, what are you gonna do? Oh... Oh my gosh, I'm alive again. There's nothing here but my little radioactive thingy. Oh, hello, good sirs. You think you could let me pass? I would like to go see my family again. No family. That's going to be it for today's three spooky, scary games. If you all enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment in your favorite game out of all the three of these. Until then, I will see you all later. Peace.